Hey guys, it's me Nicole from Victorious Heart and it's time for an update about Harper. She is six months old and that is crazy. I feel like it has gone by so quickly, but then at the same time I feel like we've had her forever and she's just always been a part of our family. So um, I wanted to come on here and let you guys know how she has grown and how she's developed since um, since my last update was which was when she was three months old so she's actually right now almost seven months old because I'm a little late on getting this out there it's kind of been difficult trying to find time to vlog um, and I will share with you <laughs> the reason why and that actually does have to do with Harper she naps very infrequently she does not nap um, for very long stretches of time at all she usually will nap uh, about like 20 minutes probably three times a day and then at night she'll sleep mm, put her to bed well lately lately it's been earlier but um whenever she had just turned six months she would go to sleep like, like at midnight and then stay asleep till around four and then she'd wake up at like six again and each time I would feed her back to sleep and then she'd she'd be pretty dozy and I could feed her back to sleep until about nine or ten and then she'd want to be up for the day. So um, so that's kind of how her sleep pattern was at six months. I'm going to try and keep all of the facts and everything back at that point rather than move on because then at nine months I'll tell you all about how she's developed since she was six months. So yeah, um, sleeping has been a challenge for us during this time period, especially right around four months. She, oh my goodness, she just wanted to be up every single hour and I would try to like breastfeed her and try to put her back down and as soon as I was on latch she would wake up and she would be just wide awake or she'd be crabby like she wasn't always crabby but sometimes she'd just be wide awake and the only thing I could do to get her to go back to sleep was to nurse her so she was like attached to my chest through the whole night which to me I'm a stomach sleeper so it was really really difficult and um, you know I'm not I'm not at all opposed to bed sharing, you know, but, um, you know, I, I kind of wanted to be able to have her go in her crib and sleep for at least one stretch of time and then, you know, wake up and then I can have her in my bed from the time she wakes up till, um, till the day starts. But yeah, it was uh, for a little while there, she was just in my bed from the time I needed to go to sleep until the time I was ready to wake up because she just had this sleep regression happen and, um, it was just crazy um, and that was difficult too with breastfeeding because my nipples were sore they were like constantly in use and um, that was tough for me that that was really tough for me it was one of the challenges of breastfeeding um, speaking on the topic of breastfeeding I will say that it has been like a, a total life-changing experience with Sadie um, it was something I was trying and it was like a thing you know like it was it was, I'm trying to breastfeed, I'm trying to feed my baby, and it was something that like I tried to do every single day. Um, and it just was a whole different experience. Now with, with Harper, you know, after we got to know each other and after we had that period of the first three months where, you know, I was learning what her cues were that she was hungry, what her cues were that she was done eating, um, and, and just like the way that she liked to be held and the way she latched on and what was more, most comfortable for me. Um, after that period of time from three to six months has been very natural like I, I wouldn't even think about giving her a bottle I just naturally don't even think about it I just you know lift up my shirt or I lift down my shirt depending on what I'm wearing and she's fed and it's not even something that I think about I don't you know whenever we go out I grab the diaper bag it has a couple extra outfits in it and a couple diapers I don't have to worry about formula or bottles or anything like that um, and most of that is good um, aside from the fact that I have not been away from her at all since she was three months old I haven't really gone to a grocery store without her um, and because um, because I exclusively breastfeed and she has not and will not take a bottle from me and that kind of stunk because in this period of time um, the new Hunger Games movie came out and I really wanted to see it but I couldn't leave Harper alone um, with with her father because he doesn't have any boobs and she would not take a bottle we tried to test it out and see if she would take a bottle and she just wouldn't I, I just did not want to leave her 
stranded you know I've been around her every second of her life pretty much and then just all of a sudden I'm gone for three hours you know I just I know I'm probably over exaggerating and at some point I'm gonna have to let go but I don't know I just feel this really really close bond with her and I don't want to disrupt that for really any reason and uh, I think now now that we're introducing you know getting to that point where we're gonna be introducing solid foods um, and, and she's getting her nutrition not just from me. I think I'll feel better about leaving her with grandma or something like that. So maybe me and hubby can get a date. <laughs> that would be nice. I'm sorry if I have something in my teeth. I guess I should probably check that before I started this video, but I just had dinner. So hopefully there's nothing there. Um, but other than that, breastfeeding is awesome and amazing and I have no regrets. I'm s There's just, to me, like right now, there's just no other way to do it. I just love it. It's it has created like here's the way I think about it you know like for nine months or ten months depending on how you look at it I grew this baby in my in my body and I nourished it and she is a life you know she's a person and she came out and now for the past six months all she's had has come from me all of her nutrition and everything that's keeping her um, fed and, and helping her grow is coming from my breast and that is an amazing amazing thing and um, it's just something that I'm in awe of and I'm in awe that my body even though I'm not the healthiest and I'm not at you know my peak of fitness or anything like that that my body can sustain a life it's just amazing and, and the fact that I can see her and play with her and that she's growing right in front of my eyes it's just amazing it really really is so um, I'm kind of for that reason I'm kind of like dreading a little bit um, starting the solid foods because I know it's not just going to be me anymore you know now we've got fruits and vegetables going in and meat and other things like that so um so it's not just going to be me anymore but it's such it's just such an amazing I I don't think um I just for me I don't think I would ever do it any other way um I'm just so thankful that I was able to breastfeed this time around for as long as I have and we're not stopping anytime soon um, that being said, uh, she has tried a couple of foods. We are doing baby led weaning and part of that is letting her explore with food, letting her pick food up and taste it if she wants to taste it, um, swallow it if she can swallow it. If she doesn't, most of the time, and I'm going to do a separate video just about baby led weaning because I think there's a lot of confusion out there about it. Um, but, uh, you know, many times babies, even though they want to put things in their mouth, they can't work their muscles to swallow it, so they just end up spitting it out. So these are things that she's tasted but hasn't necessarily digested or anything like that. So um, here are a couple things. Avocado. She really liked avocado. I can't stand avocado, but she liked it. So that's really good because av avocado is really good for you. Um, she tried banana. She's tried turkey. She tried turkey at Thanksgiving. Um, she's had oatmeal. She's had a, um, she kind of gnawed on a piece of steak for a little while. She tried broccoli, peach, um, a cracker. She had a little taste of ice cream thanks to her papa and um, also a sweet potato. Um, and to also let you guys know, she has four teeth. Holy cow, I, I can't, I was amazed by this because this was completely different. Like she's so opposite of Sadie in a lot of ways. Sadie didn't teeth until she was about 10 months old and I mean, I was worried about her because <laughs> I didn't know, you know, I thought babies started teething around, you know, six months. Well, um, she didn't teeth till about 10 months and Harper started teething, um, I think it was like right at the end of four months. And um, now by the time that she's six months, she has four teeth, two on the top and two on the bottom. Um, and they have affected breastfeeding a little bit, I will say that. Um, she has bitten me a couple of times and that hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that hurts really, really bad. And I'm still looking for a way to kind of combat that. Um, but during her actual teething, whenever they were cutting through and things like that, she was not extra fussy. She didn't have um, a flare up of diaper rash or anything like that. She just would keep putting things in her mouth and she drooled a little bit more than, nor in, than she normally had. And she like had a rash around her mouth um, from all that drooling and stuff like that. But I just kind of attributed it to that it was getting colder and you know, um, stuff like that. And as far as putting things in her mouth, babies put stuff in their mouth. I didn't want to, you know, jump the gun and be like, she's getting teeth, you know? Um, I don't know where my camera left off. It shut off. This is one of those things with the new camera that I, I don't, I don't understand. I have to get used to, but apparently it just shuts off randomly. <sighs> it's angering me. Um, 
So I don't know where I left off, but I was just talking about how um, she really likes, she's really attracted to Mickey Mouse and the characters and the show of Super Y. So um, I think that's pretty interesting. You know, it's just her personality. She loves those two shows and it's, it's, it could be any other show. She does not care, but for some reason, Mickey Mouse and not the other characters, just Mickey Mouse, which is how Sadie was. Sadie loved Mickey Mouse too. Um, and then Super Y. So she really likes those. She likes to, she's really attracted to those images on TV. Um, let's see. And the one last thing that I wanted to touch on and talk about was our cloth diapering experience and how it's going from month three to month six. So Harper is now um, right around 20 pounds. She's 20 pounds or over actually. And she has got some big chunker thighs. And it has proven to be a little bit of a challenge with the diapers. I really kind of have to you know, fold them up in the middle and get them in there and then um, put them on really, really tight so there's not leg, there's not gaps around her legs. Um, but yeah, she's got some chunky thighs and I struggle with the rise settings on a lot of the diapers. I find that they're not um, as roomy as I would like them to. I don't know, I'm just not really loving the fit of them. Um, and the diapers that I loved, I loved my, um, and I love my Bum Genius diapers. I have a couple of those. I have two that were handed over to me and I love them and they are, I need to replace the elastic on those because the elastic is totally worn out on those and I also need to replace the Velcro. Um, but the, the, the Bum Geniuses that we bought brand new, I'm loving those. Um, we also have a Tot Spots Easy Fit that I loved. I loved. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. And I had a Blueberry that I loved. <laughs> that I had bought secondhand, and they were, my Tot Spots Easy Fit and my Blueberry were my favorite, favorite, favorite divers, and I took them with me. We went out to go help um, the tornado victims and the tornado relief effort, and I had my diaper bag with me there. We went to my sister-in-law's, I had the diaper bag with me there. I usually keep my diaper bag, I take the, um, I usually take, if I have dirty diapers, I take them in the house, and I just leave my diaper bag in the car. Um, and then sometime between that day, which I believe was a Monday, and Friday, which was the next time that I was going to head out and go out and about, my diaper bag disappeared. I swear I had it at my sister-in-law's house, and I don't know if when we came out, we put it on top of the car, set it next to the car. I don't know, nobody saw it. They said they asked around the neighbors. Nobody knows what happened to my diaper bag. It's gone, and it had my favorite diapers in there. And I was devastated. I like I've literally, you know, like I'm not really big about material things. You can like get new things, you know, but um, I had found the Tot Spots Easy Fit at a consignment event for six bucks and it was in perfect condition. It was so cute, it was the cutest diaper, it fit her amazingly. It was so soft and wonderful, and it was my favorite diaper, and that was the one that was in the bag. That one in my blueberry diaper and one other one. And so that sucks because um, now my stash is actually down three or four diapers and we were already kind of cutting it kind of thin. We, we don't have a very big budget at all. And so that really, um, that really was a hit to, you know, I really was upset about that. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I'm coming to the point now where I'm going to need to strip my diapers again because they are, I'll wash them and they'll smell fine and then she'll wear them and pee on them and they stink so so bad Ugh, it's disgusting so I really need to strip them but other than just the fact that she's a big baby and I have to try and you know work around that I hear a lot of people say that you know once they start crawling around and stuff like that that their chunks kind of shrink <laughs> and so the, the the diapers start fitting a little bit better again but um, but yeah so so something I'm struggling with right now is just having um, three or four less diapers than I had before and the stink issue, which I'm just going to have to strip the diapers. That's not a big deal. So okay. So I decided that I missed too many things whenever my camera cut off. So I wanted to come back on here and just kind of fill you and do a quick and dirty, let you guys know the things that you missed whenever my camera shut off. So the first thing is that Harper will no longer take any kind of pacifier. We had, you know, like the ones that they gave you in the hospital. She had that one at first and she liked it okay. I mean, it wasn't, she wasn't like addicted to it or anything, but she liked it okay. Um, 
and it was especially good for whenever we were like putting down putting her down for a nap and stuff like that but yeah no she has like no interest in any kind of pacifier we tried switching brands we tried getting like the raspberry one ever since she's like started teething she has wanted nothing to do with the pacifier another thing is that she is a total total daddy's girl she loves him so 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 much anytime he walks into a room she like is drawn to him and like just her whole posture straightens up and she smiles at him she glares at him yeah you love daddy and she is just she's just in love with him so funny um and also <laughs> just um she's very ticklish and when you make her laugh like it doesn't matter how you make her laugh whether it's tickling her or right now she thinks animal sounds are really funny like whatever you do to make her laugh is so funny because she hiccups she gets the hiccups so easily and so quickly and yeah so she's so you can't make her laugh too much because she'll give herself the hiccups and then she doesn't really laugh anymore because she's hiccuping um so that's another thing and then i also wanted to tell you guys about her movement and stuff like that she is sitting up on her own 100 percent Robert's doing his little night night dance. <laughs> um, she can sit up on her own for any period of time. Um, she doesn't really prefer to sit up because she can get around better when she's on her stomach and she can roll and scoot everywhere. But um, but she can sit up and if you're playing with her and you're you know engaging her, she can sit up for as long as, as you want her to. So, um, but other than that, yeah, she's just a really friendly, amazing girl. She um, She loves to just, be around people and smile at them and um, I'll tell you guys at church um, I will be singing on the worship team and I wear her in my ergo usually don't let the bed bugs bite I will be wearing her in my ergo while I sing and then I come back to listen to the sermon and I nurse her and then she falls asleep for three quarters of the sermon and then she usually wakes up towards the end and then um, and then, yeah, she's totally well behaved and she just kind of looks around at everybody and totally distracts them because she smiles and she's so sweet. And uh, yeah, so anyway, she's a joy to have. I'm sorry I kind of piggybacked on the end of this video, but I missed so much whenever my camera cut off. I'm going to try to get better about that. I think, I think the key is that after 10 minutes of filming, it shuts off. So um, I'm going to have to get used to that, especially whenever I'm vlogging. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Robert's going to play a video game and Harper's going to talk. And um, yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you for my next video. Bye! So yeah, anyways, that's my six month update on Harper Rose. Oh, you guys, she's just, she is one of the bright, bright lights of my life. She has been the one overwhelming redeeming factor of 2013 i'm so thankful to have been blessed with her and uh, yeah if you guys want to check her out i have a harperography series all about harper harper's uh, month in the life type videos if you guys want to go check them out i will link them below make sure that you subscribe if you are not already and i will talk to you guys soon bye